Hello dear student, this is Dr. Sarah from DentaVest, your best online mentor for the preparation of INBD 8 and AFK exam. Today we have taken a topic of operative about the resin based composite. Let us talk about the composition of resin based composite, what is the classification, what are the different types of composites we have in use. First of all, let us see what the definition of dental composites. Dental composites are highly cross-linked polymeric materials which are reinforced by a dispersion of glass crystalline or resin filling particles and or, or short fibers bound to the matrix by silane coupling agents. The composite has the structure of having matrix in it, the filler and the coupling agents. Use, restore and replace dental tissue, luting, cementing indirectly, made in different consistencies. Matrix is made up of bis GMA, that's a monomer, and UDMA, which is urethrine dimethacrylate, highly cross-linked, strong, rigid and durable polymer structure. Bis GMA resin is the base for composite. Bis GMA thinned with tegma to reduce the viscosity to form the first bis GMA resin. The dilutant are added to increase the flow and handling characteristic or provide cross linking for improving the strength. You can see bis GMA UDMA has a high molecular weight, it is highly viscous, so it is difficult to blend and manipulate. But lower molecular weight, highly fluid, you add tegma to it, TEGDMA, that is triethylene glycol dimethacrylate, that becomes sufficiently fluid and that you can clinically manipulate. You can see the dispersed phase is the fillers. This is the matrix phase and this is the coupling phase. Organic phase made of a matrix, inorganic dispersed phase is a filler, and the third is the coupling phase that we have. Fillers, inorganic or organic resin particles that are designed to strengthen and reinforce composite as well as to reduce the curing shrinkage and thermal expansion. So fillers can be soft glass, hard glass, quartz, aluminum silicate, lithium to which you add barium, strontium, zirconium, zinc glasses to create the radio opacity. Filler helps in reinforcement, increase the clinical performance and durability, reduce the polymerization shrinkage and contraction, reduction in thermal expansion and contraction, decreases the overall coefficient of thermal expansion, and also control the workability and viscosity because more the filler content is actually thicker is the paste. Filler also decreases the water sorption. Water sorption can soften the resin and make it more prone to abrasive wear and staining. Filler also imparts the radio opacity because resins inherently are radio lucent. But for optimal diagnostic contrast, the restoration should have a radio opacity approximately equal to that of enamel. The radio opaque particles which are added to the filler containing heavy metal atom, it will help in distinguish it on the radiograph. The classification of fillers is based on their size and combination and based on the manipulation characteristic of the fluid monomer paste. You can classify as macrofill, microfilled, hybrid, nanofill, minifill, midfill as per the size of the filler particles that we see here. Macrofill, they have a crystalline quart at the filler, difficult to polish, large particles, poor wear resistance, then we have small fine particle with particle diameter between 1.1 and 10 micrometer. Excellent polishability, excellent appearance, good durability. Microfill is better aesthetic. Polishability, tiny particle, 0 0.04 micron colloidal silica. Increase viscosity, increase filler loading, filler added to resin, heat cure, ground to large particles, remixed with more resin and fillers. Microfill has a lower filler content, properties physical are lower, but smoothness is good. Clinical wear pattern suitable for class 3 and class 5 and more fracture potential is there. Hybrids, they are used widely for interior restoration including class 4, improved handling, reduced stickiness, strong, good polishability. And it's formulated with mixed filler system containing both microfill and fine particles of resin filler 0.6 to 1 micrometer in size. Nanofill, they are the most recent one we have. Nanoparticle which are only 1 to 100 nanometer exist as loosely bound. So then we have the nanofill. Nanofill are the most recent nanoparticles and they have 1 to 100 nanometer size of the filler exist as loosely bound clusters consisting of a blend of two or more sizes range of filler particles. Then classification of composite by manipulation characteristics you have the flowable composite, modification of small particle composite and a hybrid with a lower viscosity inferior mechanical property, higher susceptibility to wear, spread uniformly. Flowable composites are used as a cavity base or liner, class 2 posterior preparation, class 1 restoration in gingival area or the fissure sealants. 
Then we have packable composite or condensable composite. Stiff, yes, moldable. Inclusion of elongated fibrous filler particles here. It is rough surface, blend of fibrous and particulate filler, produce a packable consistency and enable other property to be optimized for clinical performance. It is used for class 2 restoration, help achieve a better contact point because of condensation technique, use of pluggers. Coupling agent is there which bind the filler particle to the resin matrix and allow the more flowable resin matrix to transfer stresses. Organic silanes like gamma, metha, chloxyl, propyl, the coupling agent. Coupling agent they bind the filler particle to the resin matrix and allow the more flowable resin matrix to transfer stresses to the stiffer particle. It improves the physical and mechanical property of the composite resin and provide hydrolytic stability along the resin filling interface. So you can see reinforcing silica based filler particle by using a coupling agent like silane. Activator initiator system, chemical cure, self cure, light activation system, and we have dual cure system. So there are three systems by which free radical can be produced or released. So chemically cured, the activator is NN dimethyl P toluidine. Initiator is benzoyl peroxide. For light cure, visible light cure unit, which has the activator of dimethyl aminoethyl methacrylate and initiator of camphoroquinone or photoquinone. For the dual care system, two pair system, we have benzoyl peroxide and tertiary amine as the activator. And cure is accelerated via light curing. So during the initial stage of polymerization process, the polymerization is inhibited by oxygen because the reactivity of the oxygen to the radical is much higher than that of the monomer. So this reaction forms an unpolymerized surface layer, which is called as air inhibited layer. So polymerization using a smooth matrix strip will minimize the porosity as well as this air inhibited or oxygen inhibited layer. Inhibitors are added to prevent spontaneous polymerization of monomer by inhibiting the free radical. Inhibitor reacts with free radical faster than the free radical can react with the monomer. Inhibitor also extends the resin storage life. Like for example, BHT is used in light cure composite and hydroquinone can be used in self cure. Along with that, you have some opacifier, optical modifier. Shading is achieved by adding various pigment using constituting of minute amounts of metal oxide particles. So, it increases opacity adding titanium oxide and aluminum oxide to the composite. Degree of conversion is a measure of percentage of carbon-carbon double bonds that have been converted to single bond during the curing reaction. The degree of conversion is high, strength is better and wear resistance is also better. Toughness, the strength of composite depends on ability of the coupling agent to transfer stresses from weak matrix to stronger filler particle. The presence of filler particle bonded to the matrix via coupling agent reduces the thermal expansion and contraction of the composite. So during expansion, the composite can fracture within the matrix because of added tension caused by non-expansion of the filler particle. Now polymerization shrinkage or curing shrinkage it arises as the monomer is converted to polymer and the free space it occupies reduces, which produces unrelieved stresses in the resin after it reaches the gelation point. So this can be affected by total volume of composite, type of composite, polymerization speed and the C factor that is the ratio of bonded to unbonded surfaces. You can see the polymerization shrinkage, this has created this marginal gap, you can create a white line, restoration fracture can happen, cuspal fracture or the crack can happen. Reduction of shrinkage stress can be done by doing the incremental buildup, control of curing rate and keeping the C factor as low as possible by using oblique incremental layering technique. So this is oblique, one, then two goes like this, then three overlaps this, then four. So this is called as oblique incremental curing technique. Soft start technique, control the curing rate. Curing begins at low intensity and you finish up with the high intensity. Loss of material caused by direct wearing carriers of tooth to tooth contact area are greater than that of the food in the non-contact area. So composite in which filler particles are smaller, higher in concentration, well bound to matrix are more resistant to wear. Larger restoration definitely wear more than to the smaller one. Also variation is depending on chewing habit of the patient, force level and also the oral environment.